Okay, so I'm making this video for my boy Barath. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So uh, everybody saw yesterday uh, Barath uh, posted, you know, are, are you the CEO? And I said, yeah, bro. And um, had some fun with Barath, who he's been sending me messages and has taken it in the spirit that it's intended, which was just playful and fun. And um, a lot of the people in the comments section predicted um, the next thing would be, will you publish me? And boy, did they get that right. And so uh, Barath said, you know, I want to I wanna publish. So I want to talk to Barath. And through that, I want to talk to a lot of people that are like Barath or maybe have the same questions or maybe have the same ideas. And I want to talk some about creating comics. So the first thing I want to do is say, you know, Barath reached out to me and when I looked at your profile, it's not clear to me if you're a writer or you're an artist. Uh, I didn't see any artwork, and that's not to say that there isn't any artwork in your feed. Uh, maybe there is, and maybe I didn't go far enough. Uh, but if you draw, the important thing to remember is that comic books are a panel-to-panel -panel medium, and you need to draw lots and lots and lots of panel-to-panel -panel storytelling. Uh, to be able to show that you can draw a comic book. Uh, drawing a comic book requires 22 pages for most publishers a month, and there's 30 days in a month, but generally speaking, we think of it as four weeks of seven days. So if there's five working days per week and there's four weeks, that means there's 20 working days, and you have to do 22 pages of art in 20 working days. So that requires a lot of practice, and work, um, it requires a lot of focus. It takes years and years and years and years and years of training. Um, I recommend everyone go watch the Sci-Fi Channel did a um, uh, documentary on Todd McFarlane, and I recommend everybody go watch that uh, because Todd demonstrates tremendous dedication and focus to his craft and to his art. And there's a reason why Todd McFarlane is Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane did not fall out of bed and become one of the greatest comic book artists of all time, right next to Jack Kirby and Alex Ross and Frank Frazetta and you name it, of who the great ones are. Uh, Todd deserves his place in the Hall of Fame. He put the work in. And he submitted, I think he has 32 rejection uh, letters. Can you imagine passing on Todd McFarlane? Um, I, I bet you the reason that Todd McFarlane was passed on was that he wasn't ready at that point. And Todd uh, was determined and focused and he put the energy in and he put the work in. He knew he had the talent. Uh, having the talent is not uh, the end of the story. You have to have the discipline and the focus to be able to put the work in. And so Todd went and put the work in and drew and drew and drew and he didn't draw pinups and he didn't draw covers. He drew panel to panel comics. And then uh, he worked at Marvel and he worked at DC for a long time before he was Todd McFarlane. And then he worked on Amazing Spider-Man. Go watch the documentary. It's very instructive. Uh, it's the kind of focus and drive you need uh, to be a comic book artist. And so um, if you're a writer, I'm not seeing any published credits. You know, being published requires the same amount of dedication as a writer. And so, um, you know, for people who want to break in at Boom, the thing that I would say to you is um, the framework that you're trying to work within we can't publish an infinite amount of comic books. So if we, let's say, have six slots to publish new original work, you need to look at who you're competing against. So um, who I'm publishing currently is Kieran Gillen, um, uh, you know, James Tynan IV. I'm publishing Al Ewing, publishing Tom Taylor, um, Greg Pak. There's just a big list of writers who have a tremendous amount of credits and they have worked very hard for years, if not decades, to accrue an audience. And that's your competition. So, um, you know, the, the slots that I have are, are very uh, finite and I gotta look at uh, who goes in those slots. And if you're a first timer and you're competing up against James Tynan IV, that's a tough competition. So my suggestion to you, um, and, you know, I don't mean to leave uh, the visual artists out. Obviously, we have a stunning array of spectacular artists. Simone DeMeo, 
uh, on We Only Find Them When We're Dead is just an example of somebody who's just a transcendent genius and uh, we are lucky to work with as many as we have. Uh, but the focus here is uh, if you're new, you need to get your feet wet, you need to break in. Uh, there's a lot of smaller publishers that have open slots and they're actively recruiting and they're looking for people that will collaborate with them. And I think uh, finding a smaller publisher that has uh, greater freedom and more openness uh, with their slots and flexibility in their publishing schedule is a great place to begin. Uh, if you're a writer, write. If you're an artist, draw. And uh, practice your craft, hone. Practice your craft, hone. Practice your craft, hone. Practice your craft, hone. Uh, get published, then get published again, then get published again, and then get published again. Build an audience and uh, the rest is your oyster. So uh, hope this helps. Uh, ask me any questions that you want uh, for things that this doesn't cover.